apologize for the different angle and setup. Dan is away for a couple of nights and he moved the tripod and did something so I don't even know where it is to film. So I really wanted to show you some online orders I made for new spring items and couldn't wait to show you. I made four orders online and I was waiting for all of them to arrive because they ship fairly quickly. Um, they were not the best deals. I was just very impatient and tired of waiting for better deals online. And I was just like, I'm going to order. So I did. Um, four orders and all four of them finally arrived. All four of them had broken items in them. <laughs> I got a couple of the replacements already, so that's good. But yeah, I don't know what is up with Bath and Body Works. Um, it's, you know, typical, I guess, but it's still like frustrating to contact them, wait for a replacement order to be shipped and just wondering if that's going to be broken. My name's Lizzie. Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. If you're new, subscribe. Thank you so much. And let's get into the new spring haul. Um, so I did order candles, the new single wick candles. They're like the fancy glass jars. Sorry, I'll move these over. Um, I am not happy with the new price for just a little bit more wax and a little bit of a fancier jar. I, I will still prefer the mason jars so I could still use the rewards on those. But now that the price is $17.95, you can't use rewards. And I know it was stupid to even order them when they were like, I think the sale was $10.00. Yeah, $10 for these, which is what you should be paying for like a three wick. But anyway, I got the single wick in Flower Child. Like I said, the packaging is pretty, but I'm happy with the mason jars for the lower price point in order to still use a free reward. But this is Flower Child and it is White Narcissus Cashmere Musk Sweet Cedarwood. It's very light, but it's a very pretty floral. I got the three wick, so I'll see how that compares. But yeah, so I picked up Flower Child. I also got Tea Tree and Fresh Mint. I got knocked around. It's super cold here, so all the wax is kind of loose. Um, Bright Spearmint, Tea Tree, Rosemary. I really like this on cold because I love mint candles, and I thought the Tea Tree might be a little bit too overpowering like in skincare how tea tree is kind of very herbal and very um just kind of medicinal almost oh my god the snow is like coming down in sheets <laughs> it's it's storming out but the mint makes a nice blend um unfortunately i heard from eric and other company that this really didn't have that good of a throw and it was tunneling so yeah he gave a little bit review on that so that's too bad but um i did pick up the single wick before i heard the review and i got two of the among the clouds um i love that packaging it is wild berry skies and whipped vanilla clouds smelling the candle at first i thought it was going to be reminiscent of like whipped raspberries and vanilla or like cotton candy clouds but I do think it's a little bit different. I mean, it's still like the same realm, same like can be sisters. But it does smell a little bit different and fruity and nice. So I got two of those. And also in this order, I had a three wick of the Merry Mistletoe. That was, I think, 50% off still. I was like, let me just get another one because it's online exclusive. And I really like that. And that arrived broken. Supposedly that one's being sent to me. So we'll wait for that one to arrive, hopefully. And then I did it. I went ahead and placed an online candle order when the three wicks were only $10 off, but they gave us a 20% off code to use for like that one day only. And so I think, um, did I go in store? I think I went in store too. But anyway, I did end up placing an online order because I was like, I really want these scents. I'm tired of waiting. I'm going to go ahead and order them. <laughs> and two of them arrived broken, shat completely shattered, um, while the rest were fine. So these were the two that just um, got replaced and I just received them. It's Amethyst Dreams. I know these are like candles everybody's probably already seen because some of the stores were lucky enough to put them out for Candle Day and mine did not. Solar Crystal Smooth Iris Warm Musk. 
I like the scent. It smells like just nice, kind of fresh, just like a nice spa almost scent or fancy like hotel. Mm, yeah, I do like that one. And then I was so disappointed this one broke um, when it arrived, but I got pink lavender and espresso now here. This one smells really good. Rich pink lavender, caramel, caramel, espresso beans, smooth vanilla. This one, I really do get a lot of that rich coffee caramel note. Yeah, the lavender is not overpowering in this one. Um, what was nice for the broken candles, at least, I was able to carefully pop the wax out, discard the broken glass, and I can still repurpose the wax in an empty candle jar and burn those at least. So that's still good. Oh, and they sent the replacement candles at least a little bit better um, in this kind of box. I've never seen this type of box before. So it like closes down like this. And then it has the flap and you just like rip the tab and opens it. So it kind of seemed to keep them more contained and compact. Um, no like bubble wrap or anything, but maybe these will be the new boxes they're shipped in. Who knows? And then of course I finally got blueberry marshmallow bar. I know everybody's already been there, done that, but I had no way of getting this during a sale. So until now, um, so I brought the candles down to like a little bit under 1350 I think with the 20% off. So that's not bad. Like the most I'll pay for a Bath and Body Works candle I think would be about 1450. Um so it's not too devastating, but I heard we're getting a good candle sale, hopefully 1295 this Sunday. And hopefully we'll see if we could use um our additional 20% off coupon or not. I'm I'm not sure if we can. Um so there's like tons of other candles I'm like trying to get. So this is just like a drop in the bucket of the ones that I was waiting to pick up. It is sugared blueberry, sweet vanilla, toasted marshmallows. I, I'm not like, I don't think, I don't know what the hype was. <laughs> to me, it smells almost like a little bit sour, like a sour cream, sour yogurt tartness to the blueberry. So that one, I'm not like over the moon about. I don't need multiples of. I got sapphire quartz, quartz waters, radiant woods, bright bergamot. This one, it has like an aquatic scent to it, but it also smells a little cologne and manly. Just a little, like I could see it being a nice bathroom scent, but yeah, not like my favorite. Of course I had to pick up radiant sky. I love the Pretty rainbow packaging, rays of sunshine, golden mango, juicy lychee, lychee. Mm, it smells so fruity and juicy. It really does. Yeah, you definitely get the mango and the lychee. So I think it's just like a nice, very fruit juice drink blend candle. They did not have Among the Clouds in the Three Wick online, so I never picked it up yet in the Three Wick, only the Single Wicks. Here is Flower Child. I kind of like this packaging. It's kind of like muted watercolor floral design with the pretty lid. White Narcissus Cashmere Must Sweet Cedarwood. I read it on the Single Wick. No, it's kind of light still in the Three Wick. It is a very pretty floral. Like I could definitely see this being a nice soft scent if you're not too into florals. I like it. I just think they could have bumped it up a little bit. Indigo Paradise. Exotic Citrus, Sugar Cane, Black Currant. This one reminds me of something else. I don't know if it reminds me of like Midnight Blue Citrus. Um, but yeah, it's just very like drinkable, citrusy cocktail almost. Yeah, mocktail, I would say. Not no booze or anything like that. So I do really like that one, Indigo Paradise, but it does remind me, I think, of Midnight Blue Citrus. Fresh Sheets. I believe they had this only in Wallflower, and then they brought it in Three Week this year. Crisp Citrus, Clean Lavender, Watery Apple. I really do like it. It's, um, it is very detergent, very like tied 
but you do get a hint of the apple, which kind of gives a little bit of a fruity note. So not like super strong, like laundry day, but it's still like pretty like in your face. But I do like this. Um, the packaging is like still gives me winter vibes, not spring, but so far that's the only one I think of this packaging I've picked up so far. Of course, I had to get Golden Honeycomb. This one seems to be like popular. Everybody's buying this up. It is Savory Honey Cozy Vanilla Warm Butterscotch. I get more of the butterscotch, but you still can tell there's honey in there. And the vanilla. It just smells like a nice warm, fragrant scent. Not gourmand, but... Just an overall, I think it would create a nice, cozy, comforting atmosphere. So I do like that one. And I really do like this packaging. I'm usually not into the plain, simple, white barn style. But with these colors, I know the lighting isn't very good where I'm at. But the bright, vibrant colors really make them pop. Sparkling citron water, juicy lemon, fresh juniper. I thought this would be more citrus forward. It's very, um, you do get the juniper and bergamot a lot. So it's like a nice fresh citrus, but I thought it would be more like zingy, a little bit more zesty with the citrus. Um, but it's more like kind of toned down with that bergamot. And the only thing is like this type of packaging scratches and marks up really easily, which is unfortunate when you love packaging. Vivid Emerald. Radiant Ivy Sweet Jasmine Fresh Musk. I do like this. It's very fresh and green and kind of earthy smelling, but it's also leans a little like masculine. Yeah, almost not B.O., <laughs> but just something like natural and earthy about it that it's kind of off-putting. Um, so just one for the collection, I think. <laughs> And aloe and palm. I love this color blue. It's beautiful, like a robin's egg blue. Fresh palm leaves, clean eucalyptus, vetiver woods. And yeah, this one is very watery, very uh, oceanic. It also kind of reminds me of another candle, but I can't think of it. Yep, yeah, it's just very true to its name. Um, so... I do like that. I think it's very like fresh, clean, like you're outdoors near water and it smells good. So I had like 15, 16 rewards all from, you know, candle days, SAS shopping and stuff. So I just like was cashing them in with the new stuff. So I did use it on this uh, cute little celestial night plug, wallflower plug that does light up. And I just thought it was cute with the stars and moons. So that was like originally, yeah, $14.95. So I used a reward on that. And I got the single wick candle holder in this like beautiful butterfly flower filigree type pattern. And I was so surprised thinking it was shipping with all these heavy candles. It was just going to be like bent and smashed and like all distorted. But no, this is like sturdy. This one is definitely more solid than like, than this three wick that's like light and cheap and thin this one is sturdier so i was surprised by that and i got some some of the mason jar single wicks where i can use my reward still so i did get indigo paradise i still have to get the destination three wicks i know i'm waiting for the sale um exotic citrus sugar cane black currant so that's the same as the three wick um but yeah, I'm really glad they brought back the Destination Candles, but I kind of wish that they... The packaging is beautiful, but I kind of wish they did new scents instead of mostly repackages. I got the Aromatherapy Inspire Love Rose and Vanilla. I'm so happy that they brought this Aromatherapy scent back because I love the Rose and Vanilla. It's almost like pink lilac and vanilla, but rose, and it's just so pretty and like just calming, I think. Um, so I'm really happy they brought the candle back. Um, plus I wasn't like a huge fan of the aromatherapy, um, when they did rose and cacao or something like that. I thought the rose and vanilla was better. 
and I got this single wick in the Valentine's Day. You're my favorite. Bubbly rosé. I bring back every Valentine's Day. Very citrus, fruity, vibrant, effervescent, pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, splash of cranberry juice. Yep, you get the blood orange and the cranberry juice. Everybody smelled it. <laughs> So I also placed an order when soaps were on sale and they were not the best sale. It was $3.95, I think, something like that. But um, $3.95 and then I think I found like a $10 off coupon if you spent $40 or more. So it brought them down to like maybe about $3. So I picked out like 10 soaps to get to the $40 mark or something like that. Um, and one of them broke and leaked, but... It's fine. I could just wa wash it off. Blueberry Bellini. They brought this out, I think, last year. Wild Blueberry Bright Citrus and Sparkling Prosecco. I like the packaging with the blue fruit. You're Out of This World. Cosmic Berry. I love these little saying cutesy ones. Galactic Raspberries, Tangy Tangerine, and Lemon. BU, which is the bubbly rosé in the Valentine's Day packaging. I always have to get one of those for... Uh, collection and this is the one that broke sweet sandalwood so the nozzle broke i think i think they're sending me just the replacement for this i think i did tell them this one creamy vanilla sugar cane and rich sandalwood but i think i'll still be able to pump it out we'll see twilight rose plain simple packaging but it's sleek and nice um midnight rose dewy lemon and wild peony that's a new scent i think garden basil and lime i like this kind of sage limey color fresh basil zesty lime and mandarin white t-shirt so i don't think they had this in soap only the body care last year crisp pear lavender cloud and soft sandalwood velvet elderberry ripe elderberry raspberries and sweet musk moonflower petals i really like the iridescent on the bottle and the pretty flowers it's sparkling bergamot moonlit bouquet and warm musk white cucumber mint Watery Cucumber Soothing Mint and Blonde Woods. And last, Sunny Lemon Orchard. Golden Lemon Blossom Spring Jasmine and Cedar. I think we're getting another soap sale this weekend because there's still more soaps I want to get, of course. So, yeah, I'll see what that deal will be. And last order. <laughs> I'll show you at the end here. But I did use some rewards, some more rewards. Sun Blooms and Suede in this Fine Fragrance Mist. White Raspberry, Pink Petals, Vanilla Cream. I also got the Matching Shower Gel. Picked up Indigo Dreams. Bergamot Water, Glowing Amber, Warm Musk. I also have the Shower Gel in this coming in another order. That's on its way. Um, I used a reward. What did I order? Oh, I think there was some still of the winter sale that got marked down to 75%. So <laughs> I think I picked up a couple single wigs, some um, here and there, 70, soaps, 75% off. Um, yeah. So that order is on its way. <laughs> this is the Cafe in Venice, which is not the same in the three wick. This one is rich roasted coffee, vanilla, creme, ground cinnamon with natural essential oils. So this is the Paris Cafe cinnamon spice vanilla mashup. Yeah. Um, but the three wick they made, it's not Cafe in, is it Cafe in Venice? It's um, the Prosecco and Peaches. I actually got two of the Cafe and Venices. I got a Berry Fruit Punch. This was online exclusive only. They had the three wick of this last year. Tropical Berry Sweet Pineapple Freshly Juiced Orange. It smells like a toned down version of Bubbly Rosé. Like not super tart and cranberry, but you get the juicy pineapple, which makes it sweeter. I like it. Uh, springtime in Paris. I like the colored wax that they used in the single wicks here. Soft peach, lotus blossom, fresh bergamot. I'm so glad they brought this scent back this year because I was like trying to find more of these online when they had the pretty glass lids last year. So I was buying those up on Mercari if they were a good deal. And now they have it in the pretty destination packaging. So I'll have to get more of those. I used a reward for an Among the Clouds perfume spray. And then... Let me show you. This is how they packed my beautiful glass butterfly holder with the candles and body care. They just wrapped some bubble wrap around it and yeah, pretty much just snapped it right in half. Um, 
yep here's part of it and yeah i just i knew it i've been seeing others say that they had theirs only wrapped in bubble wrap i thought maybe just maybe they'll keep it in the box and ship it within a box but no they are stupid and thought it was going to survive this um so yeah i have to get that replaced and hopefully it'll be packed better without other items to jostle it around we'll see if not i'll probably have to go to my store and exchange it if my store has them still we'll see <laughs> but yeah that was disastrous i think okay guys thank you so much for watching my new spring hauls um like i said more sales this weekend hopefully better deals and hopefully then i could get the rest of the items i've been having my eye on and waiting very patiently for um so i'll see you guys soon take care bye